The move to level two means that we can remove nearly all of the restrictions on the resumption of economic activity across most industries. Economic activity will be allowed with the necessary and appropriate stringent health protocols and safety precautions in place. Therefore, the following changes will take place with effect from under level two. All restrictions on interprovincial travel will be lifted. Accommodation, hospitality venues and tours will be permitted according to approved protocols to ensure social distancing. Restaurants, bars and taverns will be permitted to operate according to approved protocols as to times of operation and numbers of people. Restrictions on the sale of tobacco will be lifted. The suspension of the sale of alcohol will be lifted subject to certain restrictions. Alcohol will be permitted for on-site consumption in licensed establishments only up to 10 p.m. Liquor outlets will be allowed to sell alcohol for off-site consumption from Monday to Thursday during the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. only. Restrictions on family and social visits will also be lifted, although everyone is urged to exercise extreme caution and undertake such visits that are absolutely necessary. Infections have been known to take place during family visits, endangering family members, and sometimes leading to the deaths of some of family members. And it is for this reason that we say we should be cautious. Social distancing should be observed, masks should continue to be worn, and special care should also be taken to protect the elderly and people with underlying conditions. Familiarity with each other should not allow us to forget these precautions. As we ease restrictions, it is necessary that some measures remain in place to limit transmission and protect our health capacity. Therefore, current restrictions on international travel will remain in place. No gatherings of more than 50 people will be permitted. Among others, this includes funerals and religious events. Spectators will not be permitted at sporting events. The curfew will remain in place between the hours of 10 p.m. and 4 a.m. We continue to encourage people to stay at home if they can and if possible to continue to work from home especially if they are over the age of 60 or have underlying conditions. 